Hi, my name is Danica Lambert. I'm a uh, physical therapist assistant here at Spine and Rehab Specialist. And as a former swimmer for the past 12 years, I have made the pool my second home. And did you know that Spine and Rehab Specialist has a pool for your, for your use? Um, so if you have a few moments, I can talk to you about aquatic therapy. So aquatic therapy, what is it? Well, it's an a aspect of physical therapy um, that allows a person to be either fully submerged or partially submerged in water. Um, and then they are, the patient's able to do exercises with the physical therapist and um, they're able to reach so many different goals of physical therapy, including increasing range of motion, uh, increasing balance, strength, and other cardiovascular endurance activities. Um, water is very manipulable as far as an aspect of physical therapy. By changing the temperature of the water, a person that has arthritis, uh, a person that has um, cerebral palsy and somebody who has suffered from a stroke can sit in the water, relax, and have more flexibility. Similarly, um, water has a property called viscosity that allows the water to um, have a person be more buoyant in the water and be able to be more flotation. Um, and so a person that has had a total hip replacement, knee replacement, and other joint abnormalities can do exercises in the water without weight restrictions as frequently. Uh, water also has another property called uh, hydrostatic pressure that literally hugs a person's body as they're in the water and makes a person that has vestibular and balance issues be able to practice balance activities in the water more safely. Um, water is also um, good for exercise because you could change the depth of the water and the turbulence in the water to adjust exercise needs. There's a variety of equipment that can be used as well, including um, water floaties, weights, and even, even stretch straps. In fact, our stretch straps this week in store are 15% off for your use. So with that said, um, who is more applicable for um, aquatic therapy. Well, there's a lot of diagnoses, but some of them are um, those who have suffered from stroke, cerebral palsy, who have arthritis, uh, Parkinson's disease, and so many others. However, if a person has incontinence, uh, has had COPD, um, have open wounds, seizure disorder, and um, congestive heart failure, they may not be a candidate for aquatic therapy for the safety of themselves and others. So if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a call at Spine and Rehab Specialist. We'd love to talk to you more about aquatic therapy and set you up with an appointment in our pool. Thank you so much. Bye.